A few weeks ago at 8.29 p.m. Melbourne time, I received a message from a girl in California and it said this. Feeling a little gutsy right now, lol. Melbourne's a bit far, but we should definitely go on a Zoom date sometime. Now, like any single guy would do, I checked her profile and it turns out she's pretty cute. So I replied with nothing. I didn't say anything. I ignored the message because it seems pretty unlikely that I'm going to have the opportunity to go to America and meet this girl anytime soon and what's the point in engaging and teasing myself for no real reason other than to temporarily fill the void of loneliness that this lockdown has brought about. So that's the end of this week's video then. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next week. <laughs> Okay, I didn't actually ignore Davina's message. I messaged her and I asked her if she'd like to meet me on Omegle so that we could potentially exploit both hers and my personal life for the entertainment of a group of strangers online. <laughs>
she's out getting me tea bags because I am British. I haven't had a tea in three days. I haven't slept in 72 hours because then I haven't had my tea. Do you have milk in it? Of course I have fucking milk in it. I drink tea without milk in it. Oh my fucking gosh. Where's the nun? Take this and fuck off. <laughs> When's the last time you went on a date? Huh. Um, when we're like defining a date here. Okay. Um, Cause you know how like you, you'll, you'll meet up with people or you'll, you'll hang out with people, but it's not really a date. It's like you're going, yeah. to get, you're going to get ice cream or you're going to get food or something. And it's, it's more casual, but it's not an actual date. Like a date is like, I don't know. I just don't like want to answer your question. <laughs> The last time I probably like went on a like a date date was like the end of last year, maybe like November time. That's actually that's like November. Fuck, that's like nine months ago. She might have had the baby by now. You might want to call her. I should probably call her. It was the sky and that on New Year's week, and apparently you smoked your sister on New Year's Eve. Do you know anything about that? These pinball machines, are they? Is that in your house? Really? That is so cool. Do you want to see it? Yeah, can you show me? Yeah, absolutely. So we have like a whole game section in the house. It's like just a boob shot. Sorry. I was, I was, look, I, <laughs> I don't want to say anything. Wow. Holy cow. And here's what that scene actually looks like in my head. Wow. Holy cow! Not gonna lie, you kind of just look like a bearded lesbian. <laughs> fair play, fair play. <laughs> I can't remember what the, the movie's called, but there's a movie where Anne Hathaway shaves her head. I think I look like her. I work with high school kids already, and the amount of times that like the boys think that I'm a student or something, right. and they'll ask for my Snapchat, and I'm like. <laughs> I can't do that, like what the heck? And they'll be like, okay, well like, I'm older than I look. And I'm like, how old are you? 15? <laughs> <laughs> you should drink it. Okay then. Mom, don't beat me when you come home, otherwise I'll beat you back. It's a joke, it's a joke, it's a harmless fucking joke. Calm your tits, like, they're they calm, they're calm. But they bounce around like fucking Mario. Has anyone ever told you you have like an infectious like laugh are we flirting i think so i think so damn if this was a real date i would be like do you want to go somewhere else because we, we would have just probably finished dinner or drinks or something or we would have gone to get dessert or like yeah. what do we do now like how do we like now what <laughs> you have my information uh my people will be in touch can we break character for a second yeah what you want <laughs> no i don't i don't i don't want anything i just want to thank you for just just being you uh, do you mean, do you mean the gold mine of content that I am? <laughs> sure, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. Fucking rent payer. <laughs> Your tax man, he flies all the way from Australia, 747. He flies over, meow. he comes down to my door. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Child, we would like you to pay Mr. Levy, Darren... Daddy Levy's <laughs> fit because do you know why? You are his rent payer, and he doesn't have the fucking money because Uber is dying. It is. <laughs> thank you. I sign. I sign your bills, and they fuck off back to Australia. <laughs> I would say that that was a pretty good first date. I would say it was too. And thank you for giving me a, a house tour. Hopefully one day I can see him in person. Wow! Yeah, once everything's not too crazy. <laughs> yeah, fuck. And it was at that very moment that I realized that today's episode of Banter is over. See you next week. I can't remember the wording. You were like, you control the ladies, you control the people. Shut the fuck up, I'll do it for you. Is this big preparation acting time? Here we go. <laughs> And a two and a one, two, three, four. <gasps> I have a way with ladies, you see. Right, right. You control the ladies, you control everything. The ladies go to their boys and say that communism is amazing and it spreads like a wildfire. There you go, Darren. <laughs> <laughs>